Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley Reddit review. Let's see what you guys been up to this week. Why does a rat get a house and restaurant all to himself, but the richest duck in the world has to sleep on his shop floor? Okay, okay, to be fair, we've had this discussion so many times. Uh, I, I absolutely agree. Remy's house is ridiculously, like, too huge, but... I do like the way it looks, and I do like the way it looks in my valley. It's really nice to have a high apartment buildings. I agree, it doesn't make sense, but... What what was the place where Remy lived in, in the actual cartoon? Let's take a look. I don't think we've ever seen a location, like uh, an outside house, except the apartment building. They're just... I, I mean, they could have invented a house for him, potentially make it more mouse appropriate but i feel like they just modeled it to look very similar to the restaurant and have the same vibe so people could have placed them together and then them not looking super weird so i understand why people say it's too big and makes no sense but i like having a big apartment building in my uh valley and i also don't think they had too many other options so i'm not mad about it whatsoever about the Scrooge sleeping on the floor, that man is saving so much money by not... I mean, I, I would love to have uh, Scrooge's mansion, but then... I, I guess it is not fair. Why does uh, Remy own the restaurant but has a separate house, but Scrooge owes his shop and doesn't have a separate house? I would love to see Scrooge's mansion uh, as, as a house for him. I would also like to, to get a Scrooge money bin as the house skin for us in the future. But that's just me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very biased towards the Scrooge. I love this man, or duck, and uh, I would want to see as many DuckTales buildings as possible. Hey, we got Plaza! Full Plaza from Jazz. My god, how do you have time to do these insane builds? That is incredible! Oh, and the filter. Oh, I wish we could apply filters to just the default view in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Imagine your valley just looking like this all the time, like, like a movie. That is awesome. Holy. I still struggling to design my uh, all of my biomes for the first time. You guys are just making, uh, redesigning the biomes for the season i mean i hope i i hope i get to this point one day when everything is designed and i can just uh change certain areas of my valley for specific occasions that would be that would be a dream come true you just let me pop to the scrooge store for a few candles a few candles <laughs> okay this was a funny post on twitter i've seen yeah by the way this looks so cool i i kind of want to replicate this and submit it as a dream snap for something but uh very creative. Very creative. I wish I thought of that. Dazzle Beach Glow Up. Oh my god. Oh, I'm such a sucker for the, the boardwalks. This looks so good. My god. Oh, what a magical use of borders. Borders with these floors just look so good. Wow, what a, what a beach. What a beach. Absolutely love it. Oh, that was, that's what it was before. Definitely an improvement. Opinion. I hate Scrooge's store. It's literally the worst part of the game. I've been playing for almost a year and only have 792 items of 1600. Yet every day when I check the store, I only find one or two new items. What? You get one or two new items every day? Holy crap, this is the luckiest person I've ever seen. This is insanity. And all of my night thorn chests only give me coins and not furniture pouches. At this rate, I will have to play every single day for 400 days to get every item. I wish! I wish I would get all the items in 400... What are you... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Rent, how is this a rent? This person basically boasting how incredibly lucky they are with the Scrooge shop and saying that it's the worst part of the game. You are blessed. If you collect all of your items within two years of playing the game, 
and you get one to two new items every day. You are blessed. You have no right to complain. Some Like, okay, I get it. I do refreshes, so I shouldn't complain either. But even doing refreshes, for me, it's like sometimes it would take 10 refreshes to even get one new item in the shop. If you can maintain one or two new items every single day, you are absolutely insanely lucky. Let's talk about it. I don't get the screw shop uh, hate. Most of the people will get most of the items pretty quickly. Yes, the final couple hundred items, once again, don't forget, 1627, that includes all the premium shop items. So, just the Scrooge items, probably around maybe 13 to 1400. And you're gonna get up to a thousand probably within the first year my guess the final three four hundred items are gonna take a couple more years but i'm saying that and it makes me happy i dread the day when i realize that i've collected every single scrooge item and it's just the that that's probably going to be the day when i stop playing disney dreamlight valley because scrooge shop is the most exciting thing of my everyday routine in Disney Gym Light Valley. Just go in. Even if I even if you couldn't do refreshes. Yeah, I know it's frustrating not to get any single new item, but just finding that item when it actually appears in your shop, it's just such a good feeling. And if we were if you just knew for a fact that every day you come in and you're gonna get a new item, it just wouldn't be as exciting. That's just that's just my opinion. I feel like Scrooge Store, especially with them fixing the furniture pouches, is doing just fine. It's an end game goal to collect all the items. It's not supposed to happen over one year or even two years. The game will potentially keep releasing new characters for years to come. And uh, I feel like Scrooge Shop is in that nice little spot to be like almost unattainable to obtain all items. And giving you excitement every day i'm gonna get so much hate in the comments for this but uh, that's just that's just my opinion i'm not saying it's a right opinion i would agree with you on the furniture pouches those things are worthless now because there's no more furniture pouch exclusives so to be honest i don't even know how you fix them maybe i don't know somehow give them at least a chance to give you a new item for example when you roll the contents of furniture pouch make it like I don't know, 10% guaranteed you're getting a new item and 90% you're getting some random item. That at least would make it uh, exciting to at least try to get as many furniture pouches as you can. This is really stupid. I'm very sorry. Scrooge, look, there is a leak in your money bin. Where? <laughs> oh, no, Scrooge, you got played. You got played. I'm so freaking proud of myself. I never decorate my valley, but I finally did something. Mini in the Frosted Heights. That is awesome. She looks very, very natural. The little tiny blue specks on her roof. And using purple trees, purple trees look incredible in uh, in Frosted Heights. So I, I totally support this choice. Very nice. And now when you have this fire of decorating lit under you, go and decorate the rest of your valley. And then once you're done, tear it all down and start over because that's the whole point of playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. Anastasia, one can dream. Where is this even from? Oh, that's an actual movie that's called Anastasia. I've never heard of it. But I, I have an open mind. I will take anybody. Literally give me anybody from Disney franchise. I will take them in my valley. I will find them a place to stay. I made a classroom for my haunted mansion. I'm turning into a school for my valley. Wow. That does look like a classroom. And the desk. Uh, no. This is the desk that Miss Cupcake told me not to get because it's just a desk. What do you say now, Miss Cupcake? Look at this. I could... This could be me. This could be me with nice little classroom. I didn't even realize you could put items on it. If I see it again, I'm buying it. I'm not asking anybody. This is such a cool design. What if next week 
Star uh, Dream Snaps is gonna say, design a classroom. And I'm like, oh man, I if I had that desk, I would get 4,000 Moonstones. <laughs> this is awesome, well done. Don't be late for a chemistry class. What is it today and with educational builds? This looks like a lab, like a chemistry classroom or a lab. I did not realize how many potion related items we have. This, are you sure, are, are you sure it's chemistry class and not math lab? I don't know. <laughs> it could go either way. I wish we could sit in pictures. Oh yes, I wish so too. Sit or we need so many more poses. Absolutely. This still looks good. It uh, Okay, it kind of looks like she's squatting in front of the bench, so it's a little bit awkward, but yeah, we definitely need more poses. I think there is plenty of room in the valley. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is going to get controversial. This may be an unpopular opinion, and it's absolutely fine if you disagree, but I'm curious if there's anybody else out there who feels like the valley is more than big enough. I see a lot of people say everything is really cramped with all the characters' houses and the premium houses, and that they have no room for anything else. This is kind of confusing to me, because almost all of my biomes are decorated. I have all of the characters, I have five of six of premium houses, and yet my valley still feels kind of empty. I did remove a lot of trees for lag purposes, but the ones that are left strategically placed so it feels woodsy. I will agree about this, that you can have houses and, like, a lot of people like making nature, uh, natural spots, like, for example, a little forest or a park, and those take a lot of space. If you, like, build your whole biomes around the houses, yeah, it's definitely possible. It's not gonna feel cramped, but, uh, I, w I was in this camp earlier, but now I'm starting to think that we definitely need new biomes because just because of the how many uh, big items we... We just got a Fountain of Youth and we got a Hotel... Uh, the, 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 what is it called? The Horror Hotel, whatever, the Tower of Horror thing that is also like a giant building. If they keep adding ginormous buildings and uh, furniture items, we're definitely going to need more space. But for now, for this particular moment of time, I agree. There is enough space in the valley. But if they're going to keep adding those items and more villagers, we're definitely going to need an expansion soon. Who do you want to see in the game next? Me. Everybody. <laughs> I'm, I totally agree with this. 100%. I literally don't have somebody that i would like absolutely die to see in the game and also i don't have anybody that i would want not to see at any point i would love for them to add every single character in the game eventually for me it's personally it's not about the characters themselves it's about their quests and how they fit in the valley so yeah, I, I might have a favorite that I would really love to see, but maybe it just doesn't make sense to introduce them right this moment because of the story, how it's uh, planned, how it progresses. So I'm going to remain a patient customer and wait for the game to expand naturally, and I'll be happy with every addition unless they add another Maui. Thank God it's impossible. We, we got the worst one out of the way early, so now everybody got used to it already. If I see this stupid dress one more time... So just buy it! If you buy it, it's gonna go away and you'll never see it again. Also, I absolutely love this dress. I, I used to wear it a lot. It's one of my favorite dresses in the game. I find offense in your post! Just kidding, I don't care. It's it's your taste, but I think it's, I think it's a gorgeous dress. We're still waiting. All players getting an increase in furniture mode. Nintendo Switch players. Not just Nintendo Switch, also older PlayStation and Xbox consoles did not get an extension either. So I'm 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 very, very thankful for having 6,000 limit on my PC game. But please game. My computer can handle 9,000 easy. I know I'm not even close to six limit yet, but I know I'm gonna need it, especially if they add new biomes. We're going to definitely need a lot more uh, furniture limits. So please optimize your game and raise the PC to, let's say, 10,000. And then raise the Switch and older consoles to 6,000 to, to where we are right now. I think it's going to be fair. And then as time goes, they might raise it even more in the future. I'm sorry, I'm greedy. I wish the houses were like the Haunted Mansion one. Wait, you can place a bench on top of the house? And things right on the corner? 
four. And for Beauty and the Beast, we can't even place a thing near it. That is crazy. I'm telling you, we need, we need a free placing mode where we can just literally intersect anything with anything. It's not gonna break anything. We're still gonna abide by the uh, uh, the limit. But we need to be able to place things like this lion near in front of the castle. It just makes sense, please. <laughs> oh boy, I've been I've been asking for this for so long. When this feature co finally comes into the game, I feel like it's. I don't know. I hope I hope at some point next year, maybe. Please, developers, if you're watching, just let us do this. It's not we're not gonna hurt anybody. We're just gonna play some lions in front of the castle. That's it. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this Reddit review. Lots of stuff to unpack. And uh, huge thanks to all of our supporters. I'm really enjoying making these Reddit reviews because it's it gives me a pulse on the life of Disney Dreamlight Valley. What people are up to, what issues are people having, some good things that are happening, some bad things that are happening. It just encompasses very wide variety of players, and uh, I hope you're enjoying them too. They're super fun to make. If you are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and check out the merch, the link in the description. We have some cool dog gamer shorts added recently. I hope you like them. I'll see you in the next video and take care.